Hi, this is Sansa Mushy, and this is a pick a card reading on should I reach out. So keep in mind, just real quick, that this is for the collective. These are general messages, and above all, always trust yourself. So if the answer doesn't resonate, or part of it does, but you still feel like, like if I had, if it resonated, and I was like, yeah, reach out, but you feel like you shouldn't, like trust yourself over anything, of course. Um, but I figured this might help bring clarity to some of your guys' situations. I'm not going to grab my crystals over there. So if you guys want to choose a reading based off of crystals, I've got three right here. I'm like looking if I've got any different ones. I don't. So reading number one, uh, is orange aventurine. Reading number two is rose quartz. And reading number three is Citrine. So if you feel guided to one of those crystals, you can listen to that message. Um, you can pause here if you want to look at them. What else? Um, yeah, you guys can listen to multiple messages, of course. You can do whatever you want to do. You can ask this question regarding different people, uh, stuff like that. You might get like mixed messages with each one but ultimately i'm just kind of gonna look into the situation and the yes or no at the end of the day is always up to you so that being said thank you for listening to those messages if any of you would like to reach out for a personal reading i should look slightly more professional for this part <laughs> 30 minute readings are 20 dollars. 45 minute readings are 35 dollars, and an hour long readings are 45 dollars. i'm trying to remember if i said 45 twice by accident, but it's 2, 0, 3, 5, and 4, 5. I'm making this confusing, but anyways, uh, if you're interested in getting a re uh, reading from me, you can check the description box below for details on that, and now that I've done those messages, um, hopefully you guys click the timestamps. So this is reading number one. We're going to look into what is your situation, and then... The overall answer uh, like spirits advice okay well spirit eight of swords yeah should you reach out I mean this seems to be um, something that's got you kind of in a bind <laughs> um, I did so the cards I put back were the hermit and the eight of pentacles and so I'm getting that your answer is right now, no. So these are all gonna be really short answers. Right now, uh, you need to focus on yourself, free yourself from whatever energy you're in right now to get unstuck. So if it feels like you've already gone within, um, had time to yourself, worked on yourself, uh, worked on things in your life and you feel um, ready to go back in and communicate regardless of the outcome then i think reaching out is a good idea but if you're still in that process i'm getting the overall message is not until you feel ready and two cards i'm looking at now is the two of cups and the four of wands so i'm getting there should be a time that you feel ready in the future the four of swords but you're gonna need to think about it for for right now and figure out how to be able to move even in feeling stuck with the situation because as much as there's this situation there's so many other things um for you in your life or so many other focuses so it's like if this feels stuck um you can unstuck yourself by putting your focus into different things while thinking about this kind of in the back of your mind or um or setting aside time to meditate and really let it go uh and that will help you with thinking about this and processing um how you feel about the situation what words you want to use how you want to communicate when you reach out or when this person reaches out to you um I, I feel like for some of you, this person's going to reach out to you, but it depends on the perspective.
like, you know, yeah, it really depends on who's listening. Because if it's the person, then I'm talking to you, the person, you know what I mean? So, but from, from everyone's perspective right now, what's the other person likely um, to do in terms of reaching out? We get the four of pentacles. So, actually, it seems one of you might be holding on to where everything's are at with this situation. I feel like you both have the ability to reach out. And then one of you is really choosing to hold on to not communicating is what I'm getting. Yeah, holding on to this darkness. Holding on to this moon um, period. And... I think that is a good thing because the moon is going to illuminate like a lot. Even though it's like dark out and stuff, the truth is there's a lot of answers that will come from going down this path and listening to the moonlight, m listening to the darkness and the moonlight, uh, I guess it's the sun's actual reflecting off of it, the sun's light reflecting off of the moon. but. That's just revealing what's always been there. The moon is always there through day and night, but it only shows itself at nighttime because now the sun is is like beaming on it as it's always beaming on the earth, except for when it's like on the other side of it, you know? But and it's weird. It's like the most like understanding of astrology I've ever had for some reason. And for some reason, spirit wanted to mention those messages. Uh, for reading number one, and a final message about this other person, Seven of Swords. Yeah, they they are doing this so then they can work on processing their thoughts. They have a lot of thoughts <laughs> that have to do with themselves more so than the universe. I mean, we are the universe, but I mean, it's about them more than it is about you. Yes, it's about both people, but the main issue that makes it out of balance is that this person, yeah, is dealing with some heartache. So it might, so to put an example, it might be words you said or something that hurt this person, but, and that would be like three of the swords this person's carrying, but that fourth extra sword would be their own past. Or rather, it's the opposite. It's more like there's these three swords that were already in this person's heart, and you, to, with just one decisive sword, can basically add too much information to this person's um, heart. Too, too, much, too many sensitive words to this person's heart. And so they are healing from this at this time. And I'm just getting that they're actually really good at doing that. Because we've got Six of Swords, now the Six of Wands. This is about moving the smoother waters towards peace and harmony. And this is towards doing it victoriously, feeling very achieved. And then we've got the two. Wow. So I, I swear, I'm just like taking cards off the top like this. And so we got the Six of Swords and the Six of Wands. And then we got the Two of Pentacles and number two, the High Priestess. So sixes and twos. This is a very balanced energy in this individual. It's mostly their thoughts, but that actually seems to be a lot more balanced. So. Oh, I'm seeing this person is actually holding five swords and not four, but the point is that you know, the whole swords thing, they, they now have a lot more on their back and they're letting it, they're trying to let the thoughts out, let it go. They might be doing meditation, they might be listening to their spirit guides, but one thing's for sure is they're doing whatever they're doing to reach victory for themselves and to find their own balance and their own inner peace and inner wisdom of what to do in this situation. So that is why they are holding on to this period of time, why they're not communicating. It's not for any other particular reason, it seems, other than this seems to be the most positive thing that they can do at this time. So that's reading number one. Hope that resonated pretty specific so um basically reach out when you feel ready and feel like you know what you want to say all right
take care. All right, this is reading number two. The Rose Quartz, should you reach out? So we're gonna try and make this one a bit more brief. Let's look at what your energy is at, the other person's energy at, and what both of you are being advised to do by spirit right now. So your energy is at the Three of Wands. So it seems to be on your path. Let's see, their energy is the Nine of Swords. So they are dealing with a lot of anxious thoughts, uncertainty that they can find clarity on if they can pull themselves out of this um, dark space that they're in right now. And so Spirit's advice for you. <laughs> so we got the Three of Wands and then we got number six, the Lovers. And then for advice for them, they get the moon. So I'm getting that this is basically very similar to reading number one. That yes, when it feels right for you, two of pentacles and then two of the high priestess. So You're going to have to really balance out your feelings and your own, like, inner wisdom is what I'm getting here. So you're going to have to do this at a time that feels right for you. But you also need to reach out in a very, like, understanding way. <laughs> So, okay, we get the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords. They somehow came out together and a card fell on the ground. And this is Temperance. So, You're gonna have to reach out. If this person hurt you and you are thinking about reaching out, it's like you're gonna have to do this with really balanced energy with both compassion but practicality. You can't be too much of one or the other. You can't be too cold and just like ruthless. <laughs> and you can't just be understanding and forgiving you you've you've got to be both and once you feel you are both those energies i think the answer is yes you should reach out as for this other person i'm getting they're very anxious and unsure maybe they're unsure of if they are going to hear from you maybe they're unsure of if they should reach out um and they don't really know, so they're not going to make any sort of, sort of moves at this time. And so I think they're just going to feel distant and feel left out or pushed away um, or something like that. They might have a fear like that they might lose you. Yeah, I just, so I lifted this up and the five of cards came out Oops. and um, and the six of pentacles. So... This is just a message saying, like, you're both feeling this loss. Um, and I think that both of you are aware that you're both feeling a sort of loss. But this person has a lot of anxiety, fear, this feeling of lack. So this might actually not be balanced. There might be some sort of feeling of lack with the other person more so than you. With you, it's like you've got your, everyone's got their own personal issues and their own feeling of lack to deal with and stuff like that as we heal. But it's like you're very clearly healing and I'm seeing this person is really feeling kind of stuck in this sorrowful energy at this particular moment 
and let's see where that might take them the world i think they're going to get out of this energy figure this out and process the ten of wands and kind of let this go i think with that in mind the four of cups and i think both of you have the opportunities to let this go but for some reason both of you feel you can't let this go <laughs> for you maybe you're still hurting and still healing and trying to figure out if this is the right choice for you to reach out and for this other person they are still trying to um possibly forgive themselves and then once that happens I think I think they're also trying to find the words to say I feel like reading one and two can be like the same reading and just like the other person's perspective so reading two or they are just not related whatever it is but for this one reading number two I'm kind of getting that what am I getting again page of cups oh that maybe this person is trying to figure out what they could say what they should say and and it's going to take them time to figure that out and then i feel like you know you know that you could communicate at any time. You know that you can speak your truth at any time. That you can say pretty much whatever. But it's like, I feel like you haven't really reached a decision completely quite yet. Because the Three of Wands is like, I'm just getting like, the Three of Wands is like, you can visualize a future and whatever it is, you can manifest that for yourself. And so it's like, you know you can manifest whatever you want personally uh, like on your own when it comes to this connection but you're like but do i want this this doesn't feel equal do i really want to manifest something that doesn't feel equal so i think time and healing will tell you if this is equal if this is balanced um spirit's general message for what is this I saw the Nine of Wands, but I'm not ready to flip a card yet. Okay, and then I see the Nine of Cups. Nines really want to come out. Um, it has to do with you. <gasps> it seems this other person, this is some a connection that you want with the Nine of Cups. But it's just like, you just... You're just guarded because it's like you you know that this person is cool, but it's the weight, the energy, you're putting more energy into it. And so you're like, I don't want to put more energy into this. So I think you do want this connection to work and you would love to reach out if the other person could match the energy, but they're not reaching out. So... It's like you feel the energy isn't going to be balanced strength. And so Spirit's advice is to wait. <sighs> Spirit's advice is do not reach out at this time. But but if at any time you feel you really know what you want with this situation, reach out. Or if you want to reach out saying... You're at the same spot, you don't know. But if you've already had that conversation, maybe you still just need more time then if nothing has changed. So I hope that all made sense. I'm sending so much love and light. Take care. Okay, this is reading number three, uh, the citrine. I am gonna actually go get this other deck. Hold on. Okay, reading number three, should you reach out to this person, to whoever this is? We get third party. I'm getting... 
basically I'm seeing this as a divine timing thing that right now there are certain uh, situations in your life and in this person's life or one the other or both however you know whatever it is but basically there are other situations at this time that kind of take priority unawakened yeah and there are these other situations so they're making this situation for you unclear so I'm getting at this exact moment should you reach out uh no <laughs> unless if you feel that whatever has been blocking you from understanding the situation is no longer there awakening yeah so i'm i'm getting that this is a a soon energy all three feel really really soon so all three readings that i did they all feel like we're all almost at that point where we feel kind of ready to reach out but not yet and then the ace of wands there will definitely be a time a spark yeah where you feel ready yeah it's the the wanderer the fool going on this going down this road on a journey so reading number three's energy whoa and this seer yep and you're going to be feeling it out in the wheel this is the wheel of fortune you're going with the flow with this. So it's like you're reaching out already energetically right now is what I'm getting. So I'm getting that in the physical world, you you are not reaching out as of right now because, you know, you're asking, should I reach out, right? And then energetically, it's like you're going to be guided down a path. And if in your meditations... Uh, visions your dreams you keep getting guided down a certain path and you feel that's the right path for you you're feeling it out and you trust it and you're awakening with it it's granting you understanding clarity knowledge even when your dreams are weird or your meditations are kind of strange if they're providing you answers which they should then that's mean that means you are awakening if you feel you are going closer towards learning understanding and awakening then I'm getting that energetically your spiritual world and the physical world will connect at some point and that you one of you will reach out you or this other person will reach out at that time you will know i think it is the other person who will reach out um if if it's the other person who feels they're not sure if they are able to if that makes sense like if this is a situation where you got hurt by this person or both, it's like if someone said certain words that hurt you and you pulled away, it is up to them to reach out at this point in time. Um, yeah, it's kind of whoever drops the ball in this situation. I'm getting this is a strong connection that for some reason it seems the most instant of a moment like just a single moment or a single sentence or one conversation sort of just like totally tipped the scales and and you guys got into separation somehow possibly from you guys listening to these messages um Obviously, if it doesn't resonate that way for you, if you feel it's more so the other person that pulled away, then I'm getting, with that in mind, if it's like, yeah, if you don't feel you hurt this person in that sort of way, um, then it's like they they are still likely to be who reaches out to you i'm just getting no matter the situation it's the other person that might be reaching out to you and then if you feel you can reach out but you're not sure you need to keep on going down this path until you go through an awakening and find your answer but i'm just getting it's like whoever left 
will return. That is the energy I'm getting for reading number three. And readings one and two, spoiler alert, sorry. <laughs> if you guys are trying, like, you can click away right now if you don't want to hear, like, what one and two were. But they were basically kind of the same thing. It's sort of like, we're all at this spot where it seems whoever you're thinking about, you had not, there's just a lot of fear to get through. If we release, if we remove fear, this connection seems destined to work out. And, of course, you you control your own destiny so even though this is destined to work out you can choose differently it is your choice release so you're gonna have to release your fears and then i think once that happens you'll know if you want to reach out or not and i just get for a lot of you that you will want to reach out yeah and move forward and take action with this and, and take some sort of uh speak certain words communicate some something clearly with understanding and love and then a final message we i pulled the union <laughs> so i feel like the wheel is turning and depending on the situation communication or coming back together might happen soon or kind of later i didn't do this for not like well, I mean, yeah, so I didn't do this with reading one and two, but I'm going to see, like, if there's a bit of a time on this. And I feel like everyone's kind of at their own time. So for some of you, this might be soon. For some of you, this might be later. Purge. I'm getting this is soon. And I don't know why we keep getting messages like that <laughs> lately. I've been getting a lot of messages that, like, stuff is going to happen like that with me, too. And I'm like... I like believe it, but I'm also like, okay, we'll see. <laughs> it sure has been a while. Contemplation and communication. Yeah, it really just looks like everyone's going through a purge and the flow seems to be communication pretty soon. So it looks like, yeah. Even if this is like resonating as different people that you're wondering about reaching out to or something like that, I'm just getting like, you will be your your throat chakra is going to be very active um really soon yeah I, once you purge a lot of these fears and 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 worries that might be getting cycled out as you're going on your journey and awakening think of it as like your unawakened state as the fears as what needs to be purged and then the awakened state as someone who can just go with the flow and completely understands the lesson now and has completely moved on from it and can take actions from there. So, yeah, hope this message is resonate. Um, I just have a very positive vibe about everyone who listened to these messages then because they were all positive messages. <gasps> All right, I'm sending so much love and light. Hope you enjoyed those messages and that they resonated and everything. And I will catch you all later. And final synchronicity it is 12-12. So if 12-12 is synchronistic to you or you like the numbers 11-11, um, that's another synchronicity of this moving forward pretty soon. I feel like this is saying you've been in a time of pause and maybe this time of pause has been about different situations at different times but regardless the energy is really shifting here and it's like we just are finishing up this completion and i think just so many blockages or barriers for communication not just with whoever this is about but just in general you know because this is a collective message too and we're all connected we're all one so um it's like, if this is clearing up for you and one person, this is happening universally. This is a very powerful time. Um, I do know Mercury is going retrograde March 4th. And I don't know if that's supposed to bring in a lot of communication, but I'm feeling whatever is going on, like, in March or just soon or something, that communication is really thriving for some reason. So it looks like we've all done a lot of purging a lot of work and have just kind of come out of this like foggy period of time and yeah we've reached our own conclusions here and 
I feel are a lot more ready to work together now that certain keys have been unlocked or certain doors have been unlocked within us and around us. So yeah, lots of opportunity is coming everyone's way. Many blessings to you guys. I went on a tangent again. Peace out. <sighs>